Hey there, wonderful viewers. Welcome back to our channel, where we explore the exciting world of finance and personal development. If you're ready to level up your financial game and unlock the secrets to wealth accumulation and financial independence, you're in for a treat. Today, I will summarize Robert Kiyosaki's book, Increase Your Financial IQ, Get Smarter With Your Money. In the book, the author outlines five fundamental financial intelligence coefficients that can help you increase your financial knowledge. To become and stay rich, you need to follow five main principles. If you stick to these principles, you can achieve and maintain wealth. Before we get started, hit that subscribe button and join our awesome community. Now, let's get started by clarifying what is financial intelligence according to the book, Rich Dads Increase Your Financial IQ. Imagine it as your personal money superpower, the key that opens the doors to wealth building and financial independence. Do I need a superhero suit for this, you may be thinking? Fear not, my friend, for you already have the capacity to become financially knowledgeable, and this book is here to lead you on this exciting journey. The book lays out the foundation for mastering financial intelligence. It's not about crunching numbers like a math wizard or wearing a fancy suit like a Wall Street tycoon, nope. It's about understanding the rules of the financial game and learning how to play it like a pro. Think of it this way. If money were a language, financial intelligence would be your fluency in it. Just like learning a new language, you don't need to be a genius. You need dedication, practice, and the willingness to grow. So what does financial intelligence entail? Well, it's not just about earning more money. It's about understanding how money works, how to manage it wisely, and how to make it grow. It's like having a GPS that guides you through the complex landscape of finance, helping you navigate through money problems and make informed decisions. But wait, there's more. Financial intelligence is also about embracing the ever-changing rules of money. You know how life is constantly evolving? Well, so is the financial world. With technology, economic shifts, and global events, the financial landscape is a dynamic dance of opportunities and challenges. All right, guys, let's see how to accumulate wealth and financial independence. And that is the ability of solving problems. Imagine this. You wake up one morning and just like any other day, you're all set to conquer the world. But suddenly, you notice a strange creaking sound coming from the floor beneath you. That's not a sound you want to hear. As you investigate the source of the noise, you discover that the floorboards are starting to collapse, and it's not a good sign. You have a big problem, and ignoring it won't make it go away. If you pretend it doesn't exist, the problem won't magically fix itself, and you may be in for a whole world of financial pain down the road. Now let's take a page out of this book and see how it sheds light on this critical financial lesson. Robert Kiyosaki compares a financial problem to a creaky floorboard, and it's brilliant. Imagine you have a car, and it's been giving you trouble lately. The engine's making weird noises, and it's just not running as smoothly as it used to. Now you could take the easy way out and ignore it, pretending everything's fine. But here's the thing that engine issue won't miraculously fix itself, and you know it. So what do you do? You become the hero of your own financial journey. You decide to face the problem head-on, just like a seasoned mechanic diagnosing a car. You open up the hood, take a look inside, and identify the root cause of the problem. Here's where financial intelligence comes into play. You don't just throw money at the issue. You analyze the situation, educate yourself, and consider different solutions. Maybe you'll find that the car can be fixed with a simple repair, or perhaps it's time for an upgrade to a more reliable vehicle. The same principle applies to our finances. Whether it's a mounting credit card debt, an underperforming investment, or a stagnant career, ignoring these challenges won't lead to financial growth. We have to embrace our role as problem solvers and tackle these hurdles head on. Now, I get it facing financial problems isn't always a walk in the park. It can be intimidating, overwhelming, and even scary, but Here's the beauty of it all. When we muster the courage to confront these challenges, we unlock a world of opportunities. Let's see how to accumulate wealth and financial independence by understanding the changing rules of money as revealed in Masterpiece, Rich Dads Increase Your Financial IQ. In 2008, the global financial crisis shook the economy to its core. 
It was as if Mother Nature herself had unleashed a financial storm, leaving everyone shaking in its path. But in the middle of this chaos, an unusual event happened. The government interfered to save large banks on the edge of failure. Isn't that admirable? So let's dive more into what happened. Following the crisis, the government made a controversial decision to bail out these big banks, deeming them too big to fail. This move changed the game entirely. These banks, once seen as regular businesses, were elevated to a privileged status, like receiving a golden ticket to a candy factory. So what does that mean? It means they got special treatment and protection, while the rest of us had to play by the regular rules. Imagine you're in a basketball game, and the referee suddenly announces that certain players are immune to fouls, while others aren't. It's like playing in an uneven playing field. And guys, did it stir up a storm of debates? Now, you might be wondering why on earth did the government do this? Was it just an act of goodwill to save these struggling giants? Well, hold on to your hats because this is where it gets interesting. The truth is, the government chose the easy way out to create money out of thin air and inject it into the economy to temporarily patch up the holes. Like putting a Band-Aid on a massive wound, it was a quick fix with questionable consequences. This injection of cash was meant to stimulate the economy and prevent a total collapse, but as with most quick fixes, it came with a hefty price tag. The aftermath of this move was like a financial tsunami that swept over people's lives. Inflation skyrocketed, causing the cost of living to surge. Suddenly, that dollar in your pocket seemed to shrink in value faster than an ice cream cone on a scorching summer day. But the story doesn't end there. It's just the beginning of a financial transformation. While some struggled to make ends meet, others who understood the secret rules of the game emerged victorious. They knew how to navigate this new financial landscape, where money seemed to have a life of its own. This book peels back the layers of this financial metamorphosis. It sheds light on how the rules of money have shifted and why it's important for us to adapt to this ever-changing environment. This chapter opens our eyes to an important reality. The old financial rules no longer apply, and relying on outdated knowledge can lead to financial disaster. It's like using a map from the 19th century to navigate a 21st century city you're going to get lost. So what's the key takeaway here? Well, it's not about playing the blame game or pointing fingers at the government. Instead, it's about empowering ourselves with financial intelligence and knowledge. Just like we adapt to new technology, we must adapt to the new rules of money. This doesn't mean we need to be financial wizards or Wall Street experts. It means we need to be curious, willing to learn, and open to new perspectives. We need to understand how the financial system works, how money flows, and how we can use this knowledge to our advantage. All right, guys, let's see how to accumulate wealth and financial independence by using the five financial IQs as revealed in the book, Increase Your Financial IQ. Think of them as the secret keys to unlocking your financial potential. These IQs are like different superpowers that, when combined, make you an unstoppable force in the world of money. Let's dive into the first financial IQ on wealth accumulation and financial independence. It is the ability of making more money. You see, this IQ is like the spark that ignites the fire of financial success. It's all about finding ways to increase your income and take your financial game to the next level. But here's the exciting twist. It's not just about working harder or grinding endlessly. No, my friends, this IQ is about working smarter. Let's take a clue from some of the world's most successful entrepreneurs, like the visionary Elon Musk. He didn't just stumble upon his fortune. He had a knack for spotting gaps in the market and creating revolutionary solutions. Take Tesla, for example. When Musk saw the need for sustainable energy and transportation, he set out to build electric cars that would change the world. And it's not just Elon. History is full of brilliant minds who discovered wealth by acknowledging problems and finding innovative solutions. Look at Jeff Bezos and Amazon. They saw the potential of online shopping and built an empire around it. Or how about Steve Jobs? who recognized the demand for sleek and user-friendly technology leading to the birth of Apple Inc. 
So, my friends, it's time to put on our problem-solving hats and explore the vast landscape of opportunities. This IQ encourages us to tap into our unique talents and passions to create multiple streams of income. It's about transforming that passion project or genius idea into a thriving business that adds value to people's lives. This book makes us to think beyond the traditional 9-to-5 job and embrace the spirit of entrepreneurship. Think of it as building your own money-making machine. With the right mindset and determination, you can identify gaps in the market and seize the golden opportunities that lie within. Remember, wealth creation is not just about amassing money, it's about making a positive impact on the world around you. By providing solutions to real problems, you not only improve your financial standing, but also contribute to the betterment of society. So, Let's get creative and open our minds to endless possibilities. This IQ empowers us to step out of our comfort zones and take calculated risks that lead to extraordinary rewards. Whether it's starting a business, investing in innovative ventures, or turning your hobbies into profitable ventures, this IQ invites you to play the game of wealth creation like a true champion. And here's a secret you don't have to start big. Even small steps toward financial growth count. Like a snowball rolling downhill, your efforts will gain momentum and snowball into something magnificent. So, my friends, embrace your entrepreneurial spirit and let this IQ be your guiding star toward making more money. With determination, innovation, and a dash of courage, you'll be well on your way to building a life of financial abundance and achieving your wildest dreams. By the way, if you're enjoying this video so far and want more content like this, comment the word more so i'll notice let's move on to the next financial iq on wealth accumulation and financial independence it is protecting your money imagine this you're on a grand adventure and you've stumbled upon a treasure chest filled with gold coins it's like finding a pot of gold at the end of a rainbow now here's the important part you wouldn't just leave that treasure unguarded, right? Of course not. This IQ is like that guardian angel swooping in to protect your financial treasure from any potential threats and risks. It's about creating a fortress of financial security that can weather any storm life throws your way. So how do you build this financial fortress? Well, it's like setting up a series of defensive measures, your very own financial umbrellas. Just as an umbrella shields you from the rain, these measures shield your wealth from unexpected challenges. This IQ encourages you to diversify your investments, much like spreading your treasure across different hiding spots. This way, if one investment faces a rough patch, the others can still shine through. Another essential element of this IQ is insurance. Think of it as the armor that protects you from life's unexpected events. Whether it's health, property, or life insurance, having a safety net ensures you're prepared for any unexpected event. Let me share a story that highlights the importance of having insurance and how it can be a lifesaver when unexpected events occur. This is the story of John, a hardworking individual who thought he had life all figured out. He had a stable job, a loving family, and dreams of a bright future. Life seemed like a smooth sail until one fateful day when disaster struck. John's house caught fire due to an electrical malfunction, turning his dream home into ashes. Devastated, he realized the extent of the loss, precious belongings, cherished memories, and a sense of security. As he grappled with the aftermath, it dawned on him he didn't have home insurance. It was a tough pill to swallow. John had always considered insurance as an unnecessary expense, never foreseeing such a calamity. Now, he found himself in dire need of financial support, but the insurance companies he approached were hesitant to offer coverage in the midst of the disaster. This unfortunate scenario highlights the importance of having insurance, even when things seem perfect. Insurance serves as a safety net, a shield against unexpected storms that can hit anyone at any time. Now here's where it gets exciting. This IQ isn't just about playing defense, it's also about playing offense. Yes, you heard that right. This book teaches you how to be a proactive protector of your wealth. It introduces you to the concept of smart risk-taking. It's like being a courageous adventurer who knows when to seize an opportunity. By carefully evaluating potential risks and rewards, you can make strategic moves that lead to financial growth. And here's the best part. This IQ, it doesn't just apply to the wealthy elite. 
It's a concept accessible to all, regardless of your current financial situation. Whether you're just starting or well on your way, the principles of this IQ can help you sail towards financial prosperity. Now, let's talk about taxes. It can be confusing, especially when it feels like the rules keep changing faster than a chameleon changes colors. But here's the secret that the rich understand they've learned how to navigate this confusion and pay less in taxes legally. You see, while most people think taxes are unavoidable, the wealthy view them as a game of chess. They understand that the tax code is like a puzzle, and by understanding the rules, they can strategically position their finances to their advantage. So how do they do it? Well, one common strategy is to invest in assets that provide tax benefits. These could include real estate investments, where certain expenses can be deducted from taxable income. Additionally, retirement accounts like IRAs and 401ks offer tax-deferred growth, allowing money to grow tax-free until withdrawal. Meanwhile, for regular people like us, taxes can feel like a constant financial burden. We're often stuck paying higher taxes on our income and consumer goods, leaving us with less money to invest and grow our wealth. Now, don't worry. Kiyosaki doesn't leave us high and dry. This book offers valuable insights on how to flip the script on taxes and benefit from the tax system legally. One key strategy it suggests is focusing on increasing your financial IQ to identify tax-saving opportunities. By educating yourself on the complexities of the tax code, you can make informed decisions that minimize your tax liabilities. Another approach is to explore tax-efficient investments. For instance, investing in municipal bonds can offer tax-free interest income at the federal level and sometimes even at the state level. Additionally, contributing to tax-advantaged retirement accounts can reduce your taxable income and potentially lower your tax bill. All right, guys, it's time to talk about financial predators. You know, those cunning creatures that try to snatch your hard-earned money when you least expect it. Think of it like a game of poker. The predators may wear disguises, but their tells give them away. In the financial world, these predators could be unscrupulous advisors, scam artists, or pyramid schemes trying to attract you into their traps. So, Guy, remember that protecting your money is not just about being cautious. It's about being proactive and informed. Let's move on to the next financial IQ on wealth accumulation and financial independence. It is managing your money. Sounds dull? But hold on to your hats, this chapter is far from boring, so imagine this. You're the captain of your financial ship, sailing the vast ocean of income and expenses. This IQ is all about planning your path, navigating the waters of your financial journey with accuracy and elegance. Now, you might be wondering, why is managing money so important? Well, my friends, it's like running a well-oiled machine. If the gears aren't working smoothly, the whole system breaks down. Similarly, managing your money is like greasing those gears to ensure everything runs smoothly. But fear not, this is not rocket science. Author of this book breaks it down into simple, actionable steps that even a financial newbie can follow. It's like having a financial GPS that guides you toward your destination. First up, we have the budget, the superhero of money management. Now don't roll your eyes, this budget is different. It's not about restricting yourself from enjoying life, it's about taking control of your financial destiny. With a budget in place, you'll know exactly where your money is going and where it should go. Think of it as a roadmap to your financial goals, a blueprint that keeps you on track and helps you make informed decisions. Budgeting empowers you to allocate your funds wisely, so you're not wondering where all your money went by the end of the month. Next, we have expense tracking, the detective work of money management. It's like being a financial Sherlock Holmes, uncovering clues about your spending habits. With expense tracking, you'll spot those sneaky expenses that tend to slip through the cracks. And here's the fun part, you'll find opportunities to cut back on unnecessary costs and save more for the things that truly matter to you. It's like discovering hidden treasure within your own spending patterns. But managing money isn't just about budgeting and tracking expenses. It's about developing a healthy relationship with money. It's like nurturing a friendship. You treat your money with respect, and it rewards you with financial security and peace of mind. This IQ encourages you to be proactive with your finances, taking charge of your financial destiny. 
It's about being conscious of your financial decisions and understanding the impact they have on your long-term goals. Now remember, it's okay to stumble along the way. Managing money is a learning process, and mistakes are a part of the journey. By increasing your financial IQ, you will have the necessary tools and knowledge to bounce back even stronger than before. So friends, let's embrace this lesson with open arms. Let's budget like a boss, track expenses like a detective, and manage our money like financial wizards. Together, we'll sail the seas of financial success and reach our destination of true financial independence. Now let's dive into the next financial IQ on wealth accumulation and financial independence, and that is making your money grow. This is the stage at which we transform our money into a beautiful garden of wealth, ripe with opportunities and unlimited possibilities. Imagine this. You're a skillful gardener, and your money is like a handful of precious seeds waiting to be sowed. Now you wouldn't just toss those seeds anywhere, right? Of course not! You'd carefully select the perfect spot, nurture them with love and care, and watch them grow into magnificent plants. Well, this IQ is just like that. It's about strategically planting your money seeds in the right places to yield a bountiful harvest. Now here's the thrilling part, your money can actually work for you. It's not just about earning money, it's about making your money do the heavy lifting while you enjoy the fruits of your labor. This IQ also introduces us to the captivating world of investments. From the stock market, where you can become a part owner of companies, to real estate, where you can own income-generating properties, the options are as vast as the universe. So let's put on our investor hats and explore these exciting avenues. But hold on tight. This isn't about gambling or taking wild risks. This is about being a smart investor, someone who seeks opportunities with potential for long-term growth and stability. This book encourages us to think like successful investors. They don't just follow the crowd, they carefully analyze potential investments, consider their risks and rewards, and make well-informed decisions. But let's remember the garden of wealth doesn't grow overnight. It takes time, patience, and continuous nurturing, adopting a long-term mindset to be in it for the journey, not just the destination. You see, the real beauty of making your money grow is the power of compounding. It's like a snowball effect as your investments generate returns. Those returns reinvest and generate more returns, creating a snowball that grows larger and larger with time. It's the key to building true financial freedom, a future where your money works hard for you, allowing you to enjoy life on your terms. Whether it's funding your dream vacation, supporting a cause you care about, or simply spending more quality time with loved ones, this chapter gives you the tools to make it happen. Remember, there's no one-size-fits-all approach. We all have unique financial goals and risk tolerances. So let's tailor our investments to suit our individual needs, always seeking knowledge and staying open to new opportunities. Let's dive into the next financial IQ on wealth accumulation and financial independence, and that is improving your financial reports. Now you might be thinking, financial reports, that sounds intimidating. Fear not, my friends, because this book has simplified the world of finance and made it as simple as a bedtime story. So, what exactly are financial reports? Imagine them as your financial report cards. They tell the story of your money journey. We're talking about balance sheets, income statements, and cash flow reports the holy trinity of financial enlightenment. In Rich Dad's Increase Your Financial IQ, the author emphasizes that understanding these reports is like having a crystal ball into your financial future. You see, these reports hold the key to your financial health, revealing how your assets and liabilities stack up. By analyzing your balance sheet, you'll get a snapshot of your financial position at a specific moment in time. It's like looking in the mirror and getting a reality check on your net worth. Now, let's move on to the income statement your financial progress report. It shows your income and expenses over a period, giving you insights into how well you managed your money. It's like checking your monthly report card to see if you achieved your financial decisions. The cash flow report, the crystal ball that shows the ups and downs of cash in your life. It shows you where your money comes from and where it goes. It's like having a money detective tracking every penny. So why is this IQ so important? 
Well, my friends, it's like knowing the terrain before embarking on a journey. By understanding your financial reports, you'll spot trends, identify areas for improvement, and make informed decisions. This book encourages us to be our financial storytellers. By taking charge of our financial narrative, we can rewrite our money stories with wisdom and intention. Now I know what you're thinking. Analyzing financial reports sounds like a chore. But here's the twist. It can be a fascinating and empowering process. Imagine this, you're like a detective diving into the financial data like Sherlock Holmes, searching for clues that lead to financial growth. Or you're like a scientist conducting experiments, testing different financial strategies to see which one yields the best results. This book challenges us to see financial reports as a puzzle to solve, not a burden to bear. It's about embracing our financial curiosity and unleashing our inner financial genius. And here's the best part. You don't need a degree in finance to master this IQ. Since the book provides clear and engaging explanations that make financial reports accessible to everyone. With every financial report you analyze, you'll gain more clarity, confidence, and control over your money. You'll spot the areas where you're thriving and the areas where you can grow. Congratulations, my dear financial explorers. You've just completed a crash course in the five financial IQs, these IQs are like the secret keys to unlocking a world of financial abundance and freedom. All right, guys, it's time to wrap up this thrilling adventure. Robert Kiyosaki, Rich Dad's Increase Your Financial IQ, is more than just a book. It's a treasure map to financial freedom. With its invaluable lessons on financial intelligence, problem solving, and wealth accumulation, this book is a game changer. So... If you're ready to embark on your journey to financial greatness, grab a copy and let it be your guide. Remember that financial intelligence is a lifelong journey, so keep learning, keep growing, and keep transforming your financial future. If you are interested on the books or audiobooks, there are links in the description please go check out. And let me know in the comments, what topics are you interested in learning more about? I would be delighted to share some of my knowledge with you to help you achieve financial independence. This video is for educational purposes only and does not constitute investment advice. It is important to conduct thorough research and consult with financial professionals before making any investment decisions. The value of investments can fluctuate and past performance is not indicative of future results. Always assess your risk tolerance and investment goals before allocating your capital. Now, if you want to know valuable information about compounding, I recommend you to click the link down below in the description. Don't hesitate to share this video, subscribe to our channel, and share your thoughts in the comments section. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.